Delivering a special address in London yesterday, Minister of Foreign Affairs Mangala Samarvira outlined the reconciliation efforts brought in by President Maitri Palasiri Sena following the end of the 30-year-long conflict in the country. In his address, titled The Reconciliation Process in Sri Lanka, at Chatham House, the Royal Institute of International Affairs in London, Minister Samarawira emphasized the key challenges facing the government and how the country is moving forward in its endeavor to create a peaceful, unified, stable and prosperous country. In his speech, Minister Samarawira says, now that the consultation task force set up to seek the views of the public has just handed over its report to the government on the 3rd of January, the relevant experts of government in an exercise coordinated by the Secretariat that has been set up to coordinate the reconciliation mechanism will be studying the report and finalizing the designing of a truth-seeking commission and a reparations office. While noting that there are divergent views even within the government in respect of the participation of foreign judges in the proposed judicial mechanism, Minister Mangala Samarira says that despite the divergence of opinions, there is a clear consensus across the board on the need of an independent and credible domestic mechanism as promised by the manifesto of President Maitripala Sirisena. He goes on to say that as a democratic and sovereign government, the government of Sri Lanka intends on working out the architecture of such a mechanism in consultation with all the stakeholders. Speaking further, Samarawira says that the President's party, the SLFP and the JVP, have asked for time to present their respective final proposals, adding that the interim report therefore is expected to be tabled in the Constitutional Assembly in early February for debate. Drawing his attention to the statement issued by the European Commission yesterday on granting the GSP Plus concession to Sri Lanka, the Minister of Foreign Affairs said that this is yet another indicator of Sri Lanka moving along the right track and lashed out at the opposers who he called cynics, noting that there will be no U-turn despite some detours from time to time. Minister Mangala Samarira went on to say that the government will break away from the past and will confine those who spin webs from the threads of ignorance to the dustbin of history finally putting prejudice, ignorance, mediocrity and opportunism behind the country once and for all and build a truly united, democratic, multicultural and prosperous Sri Lanka where peace, justice, equality, dignity and freedom for all prevail.